Hi, so here's our field trip from Thursday. Um, this is where I had her booties on. Now, I filmed the first part of us walking around seeing the people. Um, now, I feel pretty confident in having a four-foot leash attached to me in a belt capacity and having her walk with me. Um, but I wanted to do some fine tuning on distractions with her. So when she kind of startles for a hot second before she comes back in, I wanted to reduce that timing. So that's where I'm holding the leash, but still you can see how much looseness she has for the most part. Now I do have the sped up again. So that way you're not having like 10 or 15 or 20 minute videos. Um, but you can see her working through it. She's wearing her booties pretty well. I, every once in a while, I do redirect her um, by doing a little bit of a turn um, and or right here, calling her back to me and then rewarding when she comes back to my side. When she walks right next to my hip, that's where the treats come from. Um, I'm okay with her being a little out, but not too, too far out. Now, um, I was messing with the camera there for a second. But you can see, like, there are dinosaurs here. There is splash pads. There are people. There are kids. There's loud noises. Um, it's um, kind of the first step before we go to Home Depot, which we've already done, or going into a Target where we practice more like real life skills, or even going into a mall, which is very echoey and loud. Um, this is a really good distraction place. Now, um, every once in a while, I had to bring her back in, but you can see here's where I let go of the leash, and she focused in pretty well. Now, in just a second, we're going to head over to the carousel. Um, I did do a quick snippet of you watching her or us watching the the noise. It make it spins. It makes a lot of noise. It can startle a dog pretty well. So it was, hey, can we just settle while we're here? Now, I did work on a sit and down while we did this. Um, kind of the introduction of a settle command, um, which I think I sent a video today of. Um, and the escalators kind of threw her. So we did a couple loops around the escalators because they were kind of squeaky um, and they moved. And you can see where she's like, mm, I don't trust it. Um, so this is kind of a introductory of, hey, how do we handle all these new sights and sounds? So see how much she's looking around. That's where we want her to focus a little bit more. So that's the exposure practice. Now here... I, again, apologize for the wiggly camera. Um, here she's much calmer, walking really well with me. I also took her back feety up, booties off um, just because I was trying to reinforce that sit command with her uh, and doing doing much, much better. Yeah, big alien, startling. She was like, uh, nope, I'm going to come back to you. Here's all these kids, all the people. Now, please note that this was at nine o'clock in the morning on Thursday. We did have water breaks. Um, I stuck to the shade and I only took the booties off for the last 10 minutes. Um, so this is the tail end of our training session. I'm very cognizant of the heat. Um, but so I'm going to ask her for a sit in the shade and she keeps popping up. So we're working on the duration of that. But as soon as that carousel starts, kids start squealing and it makes a lot of noise. And I just distract her and asking her down or asking her place or asking her, or I'm sorry, asking her touch or asking her for a sit. Um, and she just kind of leans into me, which is totally to be expected and what we're looking for. So there it started and you can see her total fixation of like, what is that? So I try to ask for her attention, see if I can get it to break a little bit. I reward her for looking at it. Um, it's exposure. When we really talk about public access, it's just getting the dogs to see things over and over and over until they realize how to problem solve through them. Now right here, she did get a little stress. I reinforced good girl. Um, and then we had a ton of kids walk past us too. We had a whole like school group go past. Um, and this is where, ideally, she settles and focuses on the handler more so than the environment around her. But it was good, good introduction and good work in how to redirect.